Do I look like an idiot sitting like this? Nah. Be honest. Do I look like why he's sitting like this? Nah. It looks sweet? Yeah. Cause that's what I'm trying to go for. Yo, you know what? We should all get together and go to the amusement park. But you don't get on the fucking rides. Because that's not what it's about, bro. Like, See, you don't really go to the... But I feel like you're not going to get the best experience without spending money. The, 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 the strippers going to be like, oh, you you just in here for a show. You're not going to get the yes. real experience. But this is the thing, bro. It's certain strip clubs that you... Like the strip club that I went to in Chicago. When I go to a strip club, she was like putting her tongue out and shit looking at him. And he was like... <laughs> Getting smitten by life. <laughs> she did. <getting, laughs> for real? <laughs> and then guess what? Guess how many dollars he threw out? How many? None. Sweet. But that's why she came back. So it's now it's like 7 a.m. But uh, I went to bed at 3, 4. I don't know if I told you my dad got me replaced. So he has a therapy that he had to go to, so somebody take him. And we told my mom, yeah, we'll take him. 6.30, cool. We definitely didn't plan for sleep. I didn't sleep at all. You are an idiot. You're an idiot. And dress like you're getting ready to go to a basketball tryout, boy. I'm pretty much just doing anything, boy. That's what you want to care You got a road outfit on. What is this? I thought these were sweatpants, but they're jeans. It was really last minute, bro. You woke up and put on some dingy jeans. Then you got on this old school. I look like I'm getting ready to go on a hiking trip. In the doctor's office. It's, it's cold outside. It's not even that cold. And you got an AirPod Flex. All right, so y'all know Candace. She all done up for work. She about to explain what the hell this big leaf thing is. This is an aloe vera leaf. And I got it because I want to use it for my hair. So it has like some really great properties in it that's supposed to be good for your scalp and hair growth and all that stuff. But am I in focus? Yes. Okay. I would never walk into a grocery store and think that this was some shit that I would use for, for your hair. Where do they even keep these? What grocery store did you get this from? I guess if you like live in a, like a jungle, they could be like, we'll heal you. Right, exactly. Like I don't know. I'm about, let's see if T knows what it is. So I bring in the aloe and guess who already know what it is and think they're the daggone general master of how it works. something. This thing works magic. If you cut your hair and you got the BDBs for the beards, this works. If you got any rash or any like burn, this works. You see it. Terrence, you're not cute, boy. He is cute. Thank you. Fuck. What did I take off my glasses? <laughs> and what the fuck do you look like? Nigga got on the most dingiest green I ever seen out of my life, boy. This nigga got a dingy green. You see how I'm flossing? Guess what Terrence haven't done in seven years? Floss. Nigga, huh? got, nigga got platinum when he was floss. 14. But today we're gonna do a little shooting. We're gonna go get something to eat first. But then we're gonna go straight into like some gorilla shooting for like some ad placement for the merch. Your boy got the new bros tee on right now. Go ahead and cop that. You choose to lay on the dolly bag. This is what having a cat is like, bro. If you get anything new, they be like, yo, I might have just lay on that shit. <laughs> Think about why you made a fort. Because you wanted that little small space to be in. That's what they live for. Yo, we ought to make a big ass, lit ass adult fort one somewhere. I have a lit kickback. And it'll be a kickback, but it's in a fort. And like you it's a big ass adult fort. That'll be lit. And it's like, you, you got a con with the PJs. Man, like, look, girls. <laughs> Niggas will ruin it, bro. It will have to be a couple's night. A couple's night, but we all in a fort watching some shit. That yeah. Nigga, come to y'all for it and be like, yo, what's good? You feel me? Hey, you want to come to That needs to be a couple's thing, not no single. I'm not coming to the fortnight unless I have a piece. You know what I'm saying? Fortnight. Fortnight. Fuck! That'll be lit. Niggas are millionaires and they don't even know it. Uh, this is, the last segment has been copyrighted in uh, U.S. Patent Trademark. Fortnite. Oh my God. But like Fortnite with the... Fortnite, but like GHT and not GHT. We trying to take the channel to a new level, man. Like the music shit is great, but it just seemed like we got to start doing something different just because the copyright shit is just a lot. I feel like we can't be as creative as we want because you so worried about trying to limit, like your creativity is limited with the with the copyright thing, and I get it. We still gonna tell a lot of content around music, but just things that are a little bit different. When you playing somebody's tracks, they gonna want the cash from that. And then y'all see how we do reviews now, you gotta chop it up a lot, and you can still get copyright. So we kinda wanna do a little bit more content that's kinda like our own. 
Um, what sauce do you say for your nuggets? Uh, sweet and sour. And the two apple pies? Yep. All right, sir, total's gonna come up to 18 away. Hey, thank you, man. You're welcome. What the fuck is this they got at the fucking drive through That's why the line backed That's up. That's why the line is like this. Hey, hey. Turn that shit down real quick before we get a... Uh... One thing we want people to take away from the merch is that it's all about simplicity. Like, we do like simple teas that people can just throw on. It's not necessarily anything super crazy. Right. It's always like a little simple something on the shirt that has a deeper meaning. That's a wrap. We better go edit this shit. And uh, hopefully we got something nice, right? we got some good shit. Literally, gorilla shooting is like, uh, it's hopefully. It's a toss up. Yeah. Toss up. Had to switch up for the vid. Yes, sir. Get the merch, link in bio. Yes, sir. The Voices of Instrument shirt does not only have to do with Thug. You feel me? It's about like yourself. Your voice is an instrument. Me and Terrell do it all the time. Like, we speaking on uh, social media. If you got a podcast, any type of platform that you have where you're using your voice, think about it. You go to work, you might work with a hammer. You might work with a register. You might work at a desk. You know, for us, it's standing in front of the camera and using our voice. That's our instrument. Everybody has one, though. That's why on the back, it says, use it. Tonight is Thanos night. Hell yeah. Hey. Get your we, popcorn ready. Get your popcorn motherfucking ready. Let's go. End game. End game. We What's poppin'? Hey, look. Three hours and two minutes run time. Number one, we need to get y'all back. We cannot lose Tony Stark. I'm going to lose it, bro. Tony is the only reason that I really fuck with Avengers. Like, I love Iron Man. We can lose Don Cheadle. I know they about to beat Thanos. Like, there's no way. I don't know that, boy. You I don't know that. We not about to act like Marvel been on some Game of Thrones shit like that. Oh, you can't predict? Nah. When they released this shit, they said part one and part two. So, come on, bro. It's a Marvel movie. It's called Endgame, though. You don't know what the fuck about to happen, boy. HBO. I mean, Game of Thrones is on HBO. Like, it's rated R. Uh, this movie gonna be rated PG-13 because kids need to see it, bro. And they not about to make a movie for kids. That Did you see how the last movie ended? You're not about to make a movie for kids where that shit doesn't come back, or where they just die, and that's it. All right, bet. This is Terrence's prediction. He's going to look stupid as fuck at 3 a.m. I just said that they're going to end up beating Thanos. They're all going to die. Terrell. If we were talking about Game of Thrones, then you're right. All right. But you, uh, uh, you uh, think uh, Thanos is going to have Captain Marvel join them, and they still... Scans on the clock. The pick is in. What you thinking? I'm just hoping that we get... Who I think we gonna get. I feel like they counted out a lot of other quarterbacks that ended up being good. People are trying to say that this year, oh, there's no good quarterbacks in the draft. Kyler Murray's gonna be a beast because he's one of the best college quarterbacks ever. But yeah, you're gonna get Dwayne Haskins and he's either gonna be like Jameson uh, Winston or he's gonna come in and show him to be like Jameson Scott. Jameson Winston. Oh yeah, Jameis Winston, my bad. With the 15th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins select Dwayne Haskins. Uh, we drafted the young black quarterback. How about that? B stand up. Look at the skins hat. Yes, sir. You see it. Just got back to the crib. It's like three o'clock. What you thinking? Stressing. Like, what would your Rotten Tomatoes meter be at? My Rotten Tomatoes meter would give it like a eight. Niggas, they score percentages. They score percent. 85. 85%. Right. 8%. 80%. The movie was 100%. Uh, that shit was incredible, man. Like, I literally... I, I'm not going to say anything because I hate niggas that ruin movies. Like, I, I can't stand them. But what I will say is that I feel so full after that movie. The Russo brothers are geniuses to me for going with that script and saying, all right, bet this is how we do it. For the last time, this is how you do it. Everything that you want out of the film, like in terms of like action, uh, I'm not gonna say anything. I just spoiled, spoiled, spoiled it basically, kind of like with all of the ways that I was trying to explain it. So I'm just not gonna say anything. Just go see it, it's amazing. The Russo brothers are fucking legends. And I, and I ain't gonna say that everything you want out of the film, you gonna get. I did. Because I ain't gonna lie. I went in that joint expecting. Stop moving. Get focused. Be a professional. You moved the whole time. Terrence, we got All right, back. All right. And I wasn't disappointed with the way it went, but I'm like, damn, like, this wasn't what I think, what, what I was thinking at all. And that threw me off. 
He said stuff that applies to one movie you gotta that, see that completely more, doesn't apply to another movie. You have to see it more than once before you're going to sit down and say it was amazing. That's I thought true. it was an amazing experience. Sitting through the movie, didn't feel like three hours. Doesn't feel like three hours. You're going to go and then it's just, it's just a lot of shit happening. That's the it. best Marvel film of all time, to me, is Avengers Infinity War. Black Panther. Black Panther would be my second. That was like a moment, bro. I'm going to look back. When I have kids, to be like, me and your mother went out to see Black Panther when we was 20. We was 20. You know what I mean? Yeah. When they're talking about whatever they're talking about. But Infinity War, to me, when you line up all the movies, Infinity War is going to be that one that sticks out that you say, oh, man, that one. You know what I mean? This what one about Endgame? Endgame is the end, but Infinity War is what fucked everybody up. And in the Endgame, is the, it's, you don't never feel like the last one is the best one. In any trilogy, in any saga, you never feel like the last one is the best. You always feel like that the ones that one. built it. Yeah. Like the Dark Knight versus the Dark Knight Rises versus the Batman yeah. beginning. Like, think about it. The second one is the best one. Yeah. Because we already got the backstory. Now we just coasting with it. And it sucks to have to end it. Hopefully you're looking at this vlog and it is the same day that the Avengers came out, which is tomorrow. Hopefully Terrence can put this shit together and put it out by tomorrow. Hold up. Like the channel, follow the channel. We appreciate everybody for subscribing and all of that. Definitely going by the merch. The merch is going to be in the description. Promo code BROS. Last day is the 30th for free shipping. Go ahead and get that. You know, about the time you probably hear Bruce Wayne. You're a weird, weird nigga. I know what that means, dog. Like, comment, share, subscribe.